So the guitar is broken up into a couple of parts. What we're going to focus on is the neck of the guitar, which is this part here, where our tuners are and our fingerboard is, and the body of the guitar over here, where our right hand is going to be. Now you have your guitar, and the first thing we're going to do is talk about our right hand. Uh, when we're doing that, um, we're going to start using a pick, one of these guys. Um, they come in different sizes. Um, and thicknesses. Um, this is kind of the normal size. It's 1.14 millimeters. Um, good company to buy picks from is Dunlop. Shout out to Dunlop. They're a really, really great company. Uh, Dunlop Tordexes um, are a very, very popular brand of picks. Um, I use these little baby Tordex. Dunlop, you can see the cute little turtle there. He's the man. So what you want to do when you hold the pick is you want to put it between your pointer finger and your thumb kind of like that, that angle there, this way. And you want to kind of point it in the same direction as your pointer finger. So it's going to go kind of perpendicular to your thumb and then kind of the same way as your pointer finger. We got our pick, we're set to go. First things first, right hand. What you want to do is you want to take your palm and put it right behind the bridge of the guitar. The bridge of the guitar is the part on the body where the strings come through. Um, on an electric guitar, it's like metal like this. Um, on acoustic guitar, it's gonna be a, um, a wood kind of looking block kind of thing where the strings kind of come up into the guitar. There's also pegs on an acoustic guitar. Um, so you're gonna take your palm, and put it a little bit before the bridge. And the motion that you wanna make when you're picking a string is kind of like a crane. We go like this, pick each string. Like up and over. If you go on the opposite way, you can use up, what we call up strokes. Let me go like this, up. Pick up on each string. Right hand uses a combination of, of both. If we're playing, you know, melody lines or scales, you might go down, up, down, up, down, up, which you might see in tabs if you've already looked already. Um, so that's kind of the basics of the right hand. Taking a look at the left hand, if we look at the neck of the guitar, this part here, um, the top, the little brown part, if you can see the back is a lighter wood and the front is a little bit darker wood. Uh, the darker wood part is called the fingerboard where um, these fret bars are these things right here. What you want to do to achieve a note, actually to achieve a pitch, um, is take your pointer finger and place it between the two metal bars. What you don't want is to put it on the bar. I'm going to put it right in between and take that exact same string, kind of follow it across the right hand and pluck it with the pick. I got my right hand up here just because you can't see the body over here, but you take that same string that you're pushing down, for instance, we're on the, the lowest string here, take your right hand and pluck. Same thing on any fret on any string. So over here we're going to go to the next string down and pluck that string. And you keep going all over the neck. Now one thing you've probably noticed is that the further you go up the neck, your left hand, higher the notes get, and obviously going the opposite way, descending, notes get lower. A good exercise for you to do just starting out might be to just to go up each fret on each string, try to get as many notes out as you can. making sure that right hand stays on the same string the left hand is pushing down. And that's kind of the basics of single notes. Another concept that's important, especially you're dealing with the left hand, is how we number each fret. And what I mean by that is that, for instance, if we were to just pluck this top string, we would call it open or on tablature guitar music we'd refer to it as zero. This would be one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and so on and so forth. And the same numbers take place on each string too. So even on the next string down, you got one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four on the next string, so on and so forth. So just to summarize, practice what we went over, right hand, pick, hold it perpendicular to your thumb in the same direction as your pointer finger. I'm gonna take that right hand, place it right on the bridge, crane motion to pick each string. The left hand, to get a pitch out, what you're gonna do is push down between the fret bars and then pluck the same string. You got a note, man. Thank you guys for watching. Um, stick around and stay tuned. Um, the next video will be talking about tabs and guitar music.